Hello, welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how can you can use AWS Lambda to clean up your unused EBS volumes or EBS volumes with our, which are not having the appropriate tags. So basically this is what our Lambda function is going to do. At the first step, it is going to scan for all the EBS volumes in available state and it is going to exclude the volumes which are having the pre-approved tags. Say for example, you want to exclude the production volumes or you want to have a golden image of a certain volume and you want to delete that. So, or in other words, preserve that or any volumes which you might have created, which might not be used for very long time. So, so those kind of volumes will be excluded here. And then we will start deleting the volumes which are not having any tags at all or uh, which are not fitting into the pre-approved tags. The simple workflow or the architecture is something like this. We are going to use CloudWatch based events. So every night you can trigger the CloudWatch as a cron job or you can have an ad hoc job running every two minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So this CloudWatch events are going to trigger the Lambda function. And once the Lambda function is triggered, it is going to check all the EPS volumes and then apply the rules that we just now spoke about and go about cleaning them. So to do this demo, we need a couple of prerequisites. First is few EBS volumes in available state. You can also have some of them running with that as a server, but this function will not affect those volumes. So enter EBS volumes, we need at least one volume with the key as name and its value as do not delete. And we also need another volume without having no tags. And final step is having an IAM role, that is a Lambda service role with EC2 full access permissions. So if I go to my EC2 dashboard under volume section, you can see here I have four volumes and one of them is in use for a server purpose. And I also have another volume which is not having any tag or the pre-approved tag which says as name tag. And I also have a do not delete tag. So this means that this volume will not be deleted and this production web server volume will also be not deleted. Whereas the other two ones, that is this one and this one will definitely be deleted when my function runs. So if I go to my IAM role, you can see here I have created a Lambda cleanup bot role. And for this role, as you can see, the description allows Lambda function to call other AWS services on its behalf. I have given Amazon EC2 full access if you want, you can customize it and give it only EBS volume level access and write your own policies for that. So, but I have given the default full access permissions as this being a demo. So finally, for creating the con uh, configuring our Lambda function. So I'm just going to go ahead and create it again. So the first step is click on create function and let us call it as EBS cleanup bot and we have written this function in Python 2.7. So let us choose that. And then we are going to use our newly created role, Lambda cleanup bot. Click on create function. And once you create a function, it will give you a place where you can copy and paste the code. So let me show that to you now. So you see here, it brings you to this page. And if you click on the EPS cleanup bot icon here or the box here, it asks you to scroll down. And here you can go ahead and paste the code that we copied from the GitHub article or the repository. So I'm going to leave everything else as defaults and going ahead and saving my function. So the next step is adding a triggers or a CloudWatch event for my function. So here it says add triggers from the list on the left. So click on CloudWatch events and it will require some configurations. So click on that. And once again, we need to scroll down and choose uh, create a new rule. I'm just going to go ahead and create EBS tag based cleanup rule. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that as a description as well. And here you can have two types of patterns that is event based pattern. When some event is happening, you want to trigger this or you want to have a scheduled expression, which is like a cron job or a scheduled job. And once again, Amazon gives two types of formats. One is the rate format, like how frequently you want to run it and other people who are not familiar with that or from a Linux background, we can use the cron format also. I'm going to use the rate format because it is quite easy to write up. And being a demo, I want to trigger this Lambda function as soon as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on rate. So I'm going to click on add here and automatically my function will get the triggers activated. And you can see here, if I just go ahead and refresh my screen a bit, we should be able to 
see that action now. So let me go ahead and save my function once again. And my trigger will get into effect now and it is an enabled state. And if I wait for a minute, obviously my lambda function will get triggered and my volumes which are not having the necessary tags will be definitely deleted. So I'm going to head over to my volumes section and I'm just going to refresh my screen once again. And it's not at one minute. Let's wait for a minute for the lambda function to trigger. I just refresh my screen once again and you can see here all the other volumes which are not having the necessary pre-approved tags or volumes which are in use are left out and other volumes have been removed. So that is how you set up a Lambda function to clean up your EBS volumes, either to save cost or to enforce a good behavior where tagging and cost management will get rolled on to the account level. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Have fun saving some pennies for your company.